Okay, just another quick video here. I got sick of these uh, bearings that were roller bearings. So I went on a website and got some of these uh, bearings that are brass bushings. And I got rid of that nice roller noise that you used to hear all the time. This is that printer working right now. And the thing is amazingly quiet. Uh, this is the first thing I printed, so I had a issue with, uh, I had to take these bearings and grind down the outside piece here a little bit. I started looking like this. Got them from Trinity Lab. And they're just a little bit different than uh, what I had before. Um, I had the old roller bearing here. Uh, there's little ball bearings in there you can see. Uh, very loud and noisy. This is what the new uh, MakerBots have in there and uh, it won't keep me up at night anymore. <laughs> and uh, here's what I put in from Trinity. I ended up having to grind the outside metal cover down so they would fit into the, the carriage a little bit better. And I had to basically disassemble the whole carriage and take that apart. Um, take out the bolts back, back there, drop the left side down. Once you drop and loosen the belt up on the left side, you can take and it just pulls out of here and then you can take the whole carriage out of there and uh, pull those bearings out and then undo these screws and, and just drop down to the other side there but uh, again I had a MakerBot uh, replicator 2 at school and the noise of these roller bearings just drove me nuts so um, I think at Trinity, Trinity Labs, these things were uh, 250 a piece. Um, I had to grind down the little uh, outside edge there and take it down to about 15 millimeters. And if I measure these, they're about 16. So I had to shave off a millimeter on a grinding wheel just to, to get them so they would fit in real nice. The part that you really want to make sure you fit nice is the, the center part where it's got the two bars there. Uh, when you put it together, if it is tight, when you're putting it together, just a dry fit, you uh, need to uh, take and just grind a little more off this and get it down to about 15 millimeters. Um, I'll take the take this caliper. I couldn't find too many bearings that uh, you could you could buy right off the right off the market for these things that you didn't have to do some kind of work to it. So I'm in millimeters. Zero it out. And if I measure this bearing, it's right around 15. And you measure this bearing, it's tapered, and it's got a knurled edge on it. It's right around 16. So again, I had to shave off about a millimeter on that. And I just took it to a grinding wheel and I just grown, held up my hand and on the side of the wheel I spun it around like this until I got about the right dimension. And then they fit in the carriage nice. If you look you can see the difference in that color there. Um, it's actually facing this way. If you look real close on the end you can see there's a little bar. That's where this little uh, neural edge was. Uh, they're a little bit smaller. Um, like I said uh, I took some super glue after I got them in there and super glued them in place so they won't move around. Uh, they do snap in pretty tight. Uh, the bad thing about doing this upgrade is you got to take all the belts and loosen all the belts up and take off the printer head. So you're basically disassembling this whole thing down to uh, just the frame and uh, having to put it all back together and level everything back up. It took about two hours start to finish with grinding and uh, I think I said the first upgrade I would do which is the easiest is putting those uh, little bearings in the back there well this by hands if you want to have a quieter machine and a smoother running machine um, those roller bearings kind of vibrate when you slide the printer head back and forth uh, this is nice and smooth and uh, you can even hear it 
going back. Um, usually when we do the zigzag pattern on there, the diagonals, that thing was just going very loud. Um, if you got any questions, just uh, ask me on the YouTube video here. Uh, I'd be glad to uh, put a link for the Trinity bearings. If anybody else has any other bearings that work that they see this, uh, please uh, let me know. And I need to find that $2 bearing I just dropped underneath there. Um, I will keep these just for uh, backup in case something does happen. But I did order, I think, uh, two sets of these bearings because I wasn't sure if I'd be able to put two together or not. So, um, see what you think. Um, I don't even have to talk very loud to uh, do this video. My fan is louder than... Uh, than the machine, and I think having those roller bearings on there that would vibrate when you slide them across there would even cause you to have a little bit of a difference in your print quality. So I have a feeling this print quality will be equal to a MakerBot uh, Replicator 2X. Uh, this is that cube that I made. And I wish I had some other cubes that I would have kept from before just to see how they look, but I need to let that cool a little bit. Um, let just take this off. Found out when you use the glue stick, just taking this nice little razor blade, pops it right off pretty easy. So if I take a look at this, let me get it to focus on here. That is a pretty smooth uh, edge there. It's smoother than uh, most of the other edges that I had. There we go, finally focused. It's pretty smooth. That was the, the bottom surface. And again, I just uh, haven't really leveled this. I leveled it out once just to try it out. So I'm going to try, try re-level it again. And uh, pretty square. And again, I basically had all the belts loose off. The whole carriage out, the whole gantry they call that, completely out of this thing. The printer had it sitting on top, and uh, I think for the second upgrade, if you had the time and, and wanted to improve your quaint print qualities, you would uh, think about doing this. Like I said, I think it takes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bearings. I left the bearings in the in the in the bed, how they are, um, that doesn't get much movement, it just goes up and down. So, take a look, ask any questions, and uh, I'll be glad to uh, answer them.